It's Tech Tuesday, already wishing it was winter break. I'm Liam Spohr. Today we are helping all you gamers and people obligated to buy gifts for gamers this year with the Holiday Gaming Guide. First, the runners up. There were so many awesome games this season that I had to add in a chunk for the ones that didn't make the top five. Halo ODST, Left 4 Dead 2, and Brutal Legend. ODST and Left 4 Dead 2 are both first person shooters that pit you against waves of enemies and bosses. ODST is part of the Halo series, ditching Master Chief for a rookie drop trooper battling his way through an invaded and deserted city. Left 4 Dead takes up the zombie apocalypse adventure of the last game and adds new weapons, levels, and enemies. Brutal Legend is one of the most creative games of this season, featuring metal-themed worlds and battles, and also featuring Jack Black as voice talent. Brutal Legend combines platforming and combat with real-time strategy elements to offer plenty of variety. I know you're already excited about spending $200 on games, but we haven't even started the top five. Number five, Borderlands, the Fallout 3 lookalike, makes post-apocalyptic survival new again. Borderlands offers major exploration and collection of loot and guns, and you can modify weapons with hundreds of attachments and ammo types to create millions of different guns. Combine this loot fest with four-player drop-in, drop-out co-op, and you have quite a party game. Co-op players can freely trade weapons and gear and share the XP, regardless of individual rank. The untraditional cell shading art makes Borderlands look different from past FPS RPGs, and with tons of quests and vehicles, it becomes very addicting very fast. And that type of addiction gets you more XP and guns, not just dead, like other types of addictions. Number four, the Beatles rock band lets you relive history that most of my viewers weren't even alive for. Play as any of the Fab Four through their massive tours and huge screaming fan-filled venues while playing classics from their history. It's kind of a foolproof game, no one doesn't want to play as the Beatles. Add in tons of DLC and unlockable Beatles history and trivia, and it's perfect for lifetime fans of the band and those who may not even know who the Beatles are. The vocal harmonies mean that you can get up to six players playing at once, so it's great for holiday parties. How convenient. Careful buying this for anyone old enough to have been a Screaming fan, they may be insulted by seeing themselves portrayed as simple repeating animations spread around in a big crowd. Number three, got some scores to settle from being beaten by your sister one too many times in Rock Band? Well, take out some of your frustration in Assassin's Creed 2. This sequel to the awesome hit basically fixes every issue that its predecessor had. The side quests offer more variety, the missions take on a more flexible and player chosen path, and the platforming controls get finely tuned. Add in an intriguing and well crafted story with new character and new locale, and you have a hit. It's a really simple formula, so why can't Nintendo figure it out? Number 2. Uncharted 2 may be the third sequel in this episode, but it does what a sequel should adds new content and story while fixing any issues that plagued the original. Uncharted 2 pulls off all this and more. The mechanics and level design is top notch, as well as the graphics and scenery. The online play is also well designed and fresh, offering treasure hunt themed matches along with standard modes. With a movie-ish story and great cutscenes, it really is the one that blurs the line between movies and games. So long as they don't make Pirates of the Caribbean with trees, like they are doing with Prince of Persia, aka Pirates of the Caribbean with sand. And number one, well no surprises here that when I tell you the best game for this season is Modern Warfare 2. Since it's already been featured at number one in the past few weeks, I'll spare you the major details. But with a gripping story, great graphics and levels, polished controls of one of the biggest online communities ever, there's no reason not to pick up Modern Warfare 2 for your gamer, or for yourself, of course. That's all for this week. Since I didn't get a million views on my YouTube, youtube.com slash techtuesday that is, guess we'll have to rip off another line from Ryan. Thanks for watching, now get out and play some games.